video will cover the white sea bass's maintenance, procedures, and general systems. We'll start off this video by covering several cleaning procedures we will do to help maintain our white sea bass. There are many things you can do to contribute to the overall maintenance of the white sea bass tank. For instance, we clean the protein skimmer every day to make sure that the grease and extra material doesn't get in the way of the overall function of the protein skimmer. We also occasionally clean off the salt off the sump to make sure that it doesn't get too messy. We're creating salt water to refill the white sea bass's tank after a water change has been performed. As water slowly fills the bucket full of salt, we will use this ruler to combine the salt and water. Once filled to the top, we will leave for Mr. Jarwick to take it over and fill up the white sea bass tank. As a part of our white sea bass water chemistry, we will be testing for nitrate, which is a type of waste digested by nitrospheria, which originally was nitrite, now converted into nitrate. Now onto our actual testing, we will get 5 milliliters of sample water from the white sea bass tank, which is located in the sun. Now we wait 5 minutes for our results. To feed the fish, you must feed about 2 to 3 pellets every 2 to 3 seconds into the holes on the top of the tank. The amount of food that we feed is about this much. Having the food pellets dropped to the bottom of the tank is fine, however, the fish will not eat these pellets due to the natural instincts. Timing your feeding minimizes the amount of pellets that would drop to the bottom of the tank. This is why you shouldn't feed all the pellets at once. White Sea Bass's tank has a system in which water is cycled through multiple maintenance and cleaning mechanisms. This starts off with the right pump, pumping water down into the sump, then the protein skimmer, skimming out I excess heard really proteins amazing and things. nutrients. It passes through the temperature pump. The temperature monitor displays the temperature in which the chiller changes the water's temperature to. In this case, the water is changed to a temperature akin to the Pacific Ocean, as that is where the White Sea Bass's natural ecosystem is. After that, water is then pumped into the UV sterilizer. The UV sterilizer cleans water using ultraviolet. After this, it is then pumped back into the culture tank concludes our video on the white sea bass. In this video, we have covered many different topics such as maintenance, cleaning procedures, and feeding procedures. Thank you.